Hi everybody and welcome to the Immersive Suite at Uxbridge Campus. We're up on the third floor at the moment and as you can see we're in the Immersive Lab. So on this wall here we're demonstrating the biodigital human um, and we've chosen the heart as an example for you for this video. So you can see all the different human body systems along the top and then we can interact with the one that we, we want to use. So we've chosen the heart and as you come along to the next wall along we have the sensors along the top which allow us to use and immerse ourselves within what we're teaching and the example here being the heart so you can touch the walls you can turn you can expand and you can use certain things so for example touching areas you might be able to hide a section if you was trying to break down the anatomy and explain certain parts of the cardiovascular system so as we walk along, you can see there's some descriptive text as well available for our students. So this is just around the description of the heart uh, and some key information. This can be adapted and our simulation and clinical skills technicians um, have lots of skill sets in these areas and can adapt things as we need them. Okay, so this is just a second example that we're gonna show you here. So this is the ward computer. You can touch this and then there's some different information available to our student learners. So for example, there's an ECG available. We also have a chest X-ray on this wall here, so we can just bring this along. We're just demonstrating some diagnostics. We can pop this into the area and demonstrate some of these facilities. There's lots of things that can be used in this room. Okay, and welcome to one of the other skills session rooms that we have on the ground floor. So you can see this is the bathroom. So there's a bath, a toilet and a sink. And just along the top here, we've got a hoist so our students can replicate how they might use moving and handling effectively for patients and service users within the home environment. As we come through, we've got a living room. So this is set up to be a living room space. So there's some chairs, some activities. So again, simulations can be made and developed around the home environment. So we're looking at primary care, not just acute care. There's some mobility aids and, and certain things that are replicated from normal um, living within social spaces. As we walk through the room, we've got a few pieces of equipment. So there's a SMOTS camera that helps us record for examinations, as well as to help our students reflect um, we've also got some teaching materials along this side and as you walk over to this end we've got some equipment so we've got some um, body mass index uh, criteria and, and things that we can measure. We've got stethoscopes, blood pressure cuffs and things that we would use for vital signs for our particular programs and pieces of equipment. Um, there's two bed spaces available so again our students can mimic different scenarios We've got the desks, we've got the beds, hospital beds, the uh, electronic uh, hand gels and so on that they would encounter in clinical practice. And there's a few different uh, bed spaces and different types of mannequins. There's also some equipment at the top there that you can see that we would use for vital signs as well. And then just finally coming over to the end here, we've got our A&E trolley. So again, in an acute scenario, um, a student might look after a patient, do their vital signs in this area and be able to adapt and, um, and practice those types of skills. Again, there's sinks, there's hand washing facilities, there's clean floors, there's lots of infection control practices that can be taught in these spaces as well. Wound care, for example, moving and handling techniques. Hi everybody and welcome to the simulation space on the ground floor of Uxbridge campus. So we start off with a reception area. We've also got a drug cupboard and a resuscitation station. Um, so where students will learn about different things such as A, B, C, D, E assessment. We've got some different mannequins um, and some different equipment that the students will partake in. This is one of our mannequins again and some of the equipment we would use. On the wall you can see suction, oxygen ports and piped gases. They also have their name board and different bits and bobs around the bed space. As we go through the ward area we have different mannequins of different ethnicities so what we've tried to do here at Buckinghamshire New University is have a range of different age groups and genders as well as skin colours and faiths so we are inclusive of our wider population and the population we serve as nurses and midwives. So just having a look through, you can see this is a really nice big multi-purpose space, multiple bed spaces so we can have different types of simulation, clinical skills activities 
um, as we go through this hand washing areas there's also clinical waste facilities where we can teach the different moments of hand hygiene um, and again different types of mannequins along the ceilings we have microphones and we have smots cameras so they're available to help us with um, teaching reflection and videoing as well um, lots of different types of equipment again suction we've got some mobility aids um, this is one of our mannequins. Again, different representation, different multi-faith groups within our, within our teaching, which is really important for us here at Buckinghamshire New University. Um, we do have some different types of mannequins. So we have different builds as well. So we've got patient mannequins or service user mannequins that tend to be um, of normal body size, body weight, and those that are slightly heavier or maybe underweight. So we can we can teach using some authentic scenarios. And then again, just walking through, this is the next four bedded area um, towards the end. So there's again, different types of mannequins, different equipment available for our students to learn from. And as you can see, every zone within this open space within the three sections has hand washing facilities, um, typically three or four beds within them and different equipment. We've got hoists to help with mobility training, um, moving and handling and so on and ergonomics, as well as curtains for privacy and dignity of our, our clients that we're serving. Um, and we try to mimic and simulate the most authentic experience we can within an acute setting. Okay, everyone, welcome to the park room. So this is the largest space we have at Uxbridge campus. It's up on the third floor, and this tends to be the events room. So any kind of big things, conferences, also examinations, and some of the larger lectures will be offered up here in the park room. So as you can see, it's displayed today for examinations purposes. Um, so there's lots of different single space desks all the way through. It's a nice large space. Um, does very well for events for us.